Hello there, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ojla from Eru Diet Nutrition. And now it's time to start spreading information again. This time we are going to start with the most deadliest killer of the world. Yes, we are talking about cardiovascular diseases, which means in layman, heart diseases. Okay, all the diseases that are related to heart. Okay. You must know that one fourth of the total deaths happening in India, one fourth of them comes from cardiovascular diseases. That is interesting. That means leaving behind all the natural causes, all the roadside accidents, all the other incidents, including other diseases like cancer, liver disease, kidney disease, and other metabolic syndromes leaving all those behind cardiovascular diseases are the number one killer in india and india has been suffering from a cvd uh, epidemic to be honest with you guys i deal with so many cardiovascular disease patients on daily basis okay so what is the major cause of cardiovascular diseases why are cardiovascular diseases so increased the two biggest the two biggest contributors to this epidemic are lifestyle and your diet in our cases in in our community neither the diet nor the lifestyle is good we do not take care of our body we are so lenient with ourselves all right we try to enjoy the pleasures and legends of the world but we ignore the most basic thing that is our own health I'm going to give you some stats and share some facts with you regarding the cardiovascular diseases, okay? So first of all, what are cardiovascular diseases? The diseases that are connected with your heart and with your circulatory system with your vascular system, all right? These diseases, what are these diseases? This can be ischemia heart disease, okay? Uh, in which many other uh, forms of diseases like uh, arteriosclerosis and arteriosclerosis will go there, there in, in a while or maybe in a next video. This is just an overview uh, from now onwards. The purpose of making this video is we are going to start a playlist, a whole playlist where we are going to, you know, break down each and every phase starting from the disease itself to the mistakes that we make. That's why we get uh, into this disease and what the doctors and hospitals do and what they don't do and in the last how can we prevent this disease or correct the damage that has been done through lifestyle and dietary changes okay so this is going to be a playlist so if you are going to start start watching this video i suggest you subscribe to my channel okay and watch the videos that i've already posted on my channel you guys can follow me on facebook you can follow me on instagram and you can subscribe my channel at youtube also so guys, India is suffering from an epidemic of cardiovascular diseases. I've already told you guys, one fourth of total mortality coming from cardiovascular diseases alone. And out of those one fourth, 80% are because of either a stroke or ischemia heart disease. That means either a part of your brain is not receiving the oxygen or a proper blood flow or the part of your heart is not receiving proper blood and oxygen. So when your tissues or your organs do not receive oxygenated blood, they do not get the micronutrients that are present in our blood so what happens is the organs and the tissues they start getting damaged the cells and tissues start dying causing a stroke or a heart attack in variable cases so these untimely deaths can be prevented if we think about the future right from today another disturbing fact that i came across was the average life expectancy of people that are suffering from cardiovascular diseases is pretty low as compared to other countries. See, cardiovascular diseases are an epidemic throughout the world. Many other developed nations, the nations which are way uh, ahead of us in terms of technology and prosperity and healthcare and uh, in, in, in terms of average life expectancy, cardiovascular diseases are an epidemic there also. But in India, the average age of a cardiovascular patient is around 52 years whereas if you compare it with the european countries 
an average cardiovascular patient lives to be around 70 years so that is an 18 years of gap between the life expectancy of uh, a person living in India or a person living in a European country so environment is a big factor social uh, status is a big factor financial status is a big factor food quality food security the availability is also a very big factor in that there is this one other thing that we Indians are above the global average that is the number of cardiovascular disease patients per 1 lakh of general population. The global average says that 235 people out of 100,000 or 1 lakh people suffer from a cardiovascular disease. That means 235 in 1 lakh people. This is the global average and in India the average is 276. That means that in India we have about 40 to 50 people more falling in the category of cardiovascular disease per 100,000 of population per 1 lakh of population. So we are topping in that but it is not an, an achievement for us to be honest. So guys, I just wanted to brief you guys on what we are about to do in near coming future. There will be some videos. Uh, videos will be available in both the languages. As you know, Erudite Nutrition is a bilingual platform. We work in English as well as in my native tongue, that is Punjabi. So there will be videos and there can be discussions on cardiovascular diseases. The topics that I want to cover in the coming videos uh, are number one as uh, what are the cardiovascular diseases? We are going to discuss about the diseases. All all sorts of heart diseases some of those diseases are coming from dietary and lifestyle factors but a few of those diseases are coming from hereditary factors so we will discuss both of them okay and if or not there is a place of diet in the congenital heart diseases that is the hereditary heart diseases okay we will also discuss the role of medical healthcare system and pharmaceutical industry in respect to the cardiovascular disease situation, the epidemic situation of our country. We are going to discuss about what the doctors know and what they don't, what they want to do and what they don't want to do. How the pharma, com how the pharmaceutical companies see this as an opportunity, a business opportunity to sell statins and other medicines or are there some medicines which can be useful but are not prescribed to the patient. The next we are going to discuss in detail the food groups same as we did with our diabetes videos or at the diabetes playlist. Uh, so many people are getting benefit from that playlist. Okay, if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch the whole playlist. It will take you about two hours uh, to watch all those videos and I am guaranteeing that you will have more knowledge than any of your average doctor. You, no doctor has ever uh, you know told you all those amazing things uh, that we have discussed in this video so if you haven't do watch them if you have someone in your circle that is diabetic do share my channel with them it will be a blessing for them so similarly again we will be discussing every food group okay in uh, in terms of cardiovascular diseases and what we should take and what we shouldn't and in what quantity so we're gonna have a detailed discussion on that also uh, coming up next we will be discussing on lipids see a general lipid profile test it tells us a lot uh, of things about a patient so we will be discussing all uh, forms of lipids that we can study. There are uh, HDL, LDL, VLDL, the so-called good and bad cholesterols, okay? Uh, in general, these are not good and bad cholesterols. These are lipoproteins. We'll get to that in another video. Uh, what is the role of triglycerides and how the triglycerides are formed? And what is your, what should be your average uh, cholesterol ratio? And we will be busting some myths on cholesterol, okay? So cholesterol is not something that we need to fear of, but I will clarify it in the later video so this was just a formal introduction of the playlist that we are going to make on cardiovascular diseases so if you tuned into my channel stay updated and stay tuned because we are going to share a lot of knowledge here okay so thank you very much for watching do spread the word help me spread the word you can share my channel on whatsapp or facebook or however you feel convenient and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, you take care of yourselves.